Hey soccer players, today's foundation is ball circuit number two. So all you need for this is a great soccer workout that improves soccer strength, endurance, flexibility, agility, and all sorts of great things are two soccer balls in about seven yards of space. If you don't have two soccer balls, if you only have one, you can use a cone, a shoe, a crumpled up shirt, something else for the other one. So what we're gonna do, this is a 10 minute workout. We're gonna do five moves twice for 30 seconds. So you're gonna do move one for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds, do move one again for 30 seconds, and then rest for 30 seconds, and then move on to two. So it's move, rest, move, rest. Each time period is 30 seconds. The key is, with a one-to-one -one work rest ratio, because you see all sorts of different ratios, is that when you're working, you're going max speed, max effort. If it's not 100%, you're not gonna get enough out of it, okay? So, all you need is a soccer ball, you can be in your basement, your garage, outside in your backyard, seven yards of space. So a good realistic soccer conditioning workout to get you in great shape, match fit, ready to go for soccer. So first thing we're gonna do, a Bulgarian split squat. It sounds fancy, but all you're really gonna do is put sort of that toe ball of your foot up on the soccer ball, get this leg out in front of you, and you're gonna squat down. Now when I'm squatting down, make sure my knee does not track out over my toe. That'll give you knee issues. And then this back knee, I want to make sure it bends. So I bend down and I come up. I go down and up. Now it's not a speed thing here. So you want to be going, ah, ah. It's better to get a good range of motion. So you want to drop down and come up. There's some balance. There's some isolation. There's some strength. Okay, my knee's not tracking out over my toe, my back knee's bending, I'm trying to keep it straight. So my left leg was out there, my right foot was up on the ball. I do that for 30 seconds. I take a 30 second break. So it was like this, and I was gonna flip around. So my left foot's on the ball, my right foot's out. So I have the ball on my foot, maybe the towards the toe up on the ball. Track my leg out, find the distance that's right for you, depends on how long your legs are. You go down, my back knee's bending, my front knee's bending, but it's not tracking out of the toe. I go up. If you fall, you come off, that's okay. Working on balance, flexibility, coordination, strength. So you don't wanna go super fast, but you don't wanna go super slow. Just find that good speed. You see my back leg's moving a little bit on the ball. It's rolling, it's fighting. That's what it's supposed to do. Then you do that for 30 seconds. Take a 30 second break. Now, who? Oh, upper body strength push-ups. Push-ups are something I see a lot of soccer players, especially youth soccer players struggling with. They say, coach, look how many push-ups I can do. And I go, you just did zero. I'm like, no, coach, it... butt's not up in the air, butt's not down, that flat back, chest hits the ground, you come up. What we're gonna do on this one, It's gonna be moving push-ups, push working the ball. So, 30 seconds of this. I'm gonna do push-up just on the grass. Shuffle my left hand over, put my right hand on the ball. Push-up. Shuffle my right hand over, my left hand on the ball. Push-up. Left hand on the ground, right hand over, push-up. And then I'm gonna go back. I'll go sideways for you to see it from this angle. So I do push up just on the ground, left hand slides, right hand goes up on the ball, push up, right hand goes off the ball, left hand goes up on the ball, push up, left hand on the grass, right hand on the grass, push up. If you only do a couple rotations of them and you feel like you can't go and it's not 30 seconds, drop the knees, push up, push up. Okay, it's better to drop the knees than lose all form. Correct form, correct technique, you'll get there, okay? Push yourself, so you do it for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds, do it again for 30 seconds. Your feet are gonna have to move a little bit as you're rotating around. So, you do that, you get your push-ups in. Next, you're gonna do some core work. We're gonna do V sit-ups. I'm gonna sit on the ground, ah. 
even if you know core work's coming, any time in training you get to sit. <sighs> you just appreciate it for a second. You put the soccer ball between your feet. You lay back. My shoulders are off the ground. My feet are off the ground. You come up, you grab it. Now my shoulders are still off the ground. My hands and the ball are off the ground. My feet are off the ground. You come up. Oh, you stumble a little bit, no big deal. You go, here you go. Up, here you go. Now, if you need to modify, drop your feet in your hands, okay? If you drop your feet in your hands, that makes it easier. So you bring it up, but try, keep your shoulders, your hands, your feet off the ground. So, you do those V-ups, 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds, do them again for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds. Then, we're gonna do side squats with a foot up on the ball. So, you want the ball to roll a little bit here. Not a ton, but you want your leg, my foot is gonna start on the inside of the ball, it's gonna end up more on the top or the outside of the ball. So, I start here, you sort of find a good spot, I go down, my knee does not track over my toe. See how my foot just went to the other side of the ball? And I come up, out, up, out. You're working on abductors, adductors, and you're squatting, and some balance. If the ball's out too far and it's not moving, you're not doing it right. You wanna have a little bit of movement. We're gonna go out, up, out, up, okay? I'll go this way, and I'll do my left leg. So you do that for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds. Switch legs. So, foot's on the inside of the ball. My knee is not tracking over my toes. You're going down and up. My chest is up, I'm looking forward. You do that for 30 seconds, okay? Balance, adductors, abductors, strength, agility, all sorts of good things. So, next one we're gonna do. We are gonna do, you need about seven steps here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sprint, back pedal. No touching the ball. So you're gonna do a sprint, hit the brakes, back pedal, hit the brakes, sprint. Back and forth, 30 seconds. Sprint as fast as you can, back pedal as fast as you can. So it's not a, oh, yeah, it's a nice day outside. That gets you nothing. The back pedal is not a recovery, it's part of the workout. So, you sprint, back pedal, sprint, back pedal. The change of direction is maybe the most important part of the drill. So that quick couple steps of acceleration, unbelievably important. Sprint, back pedal, sprint, back pedal. Do it for 30 seconds, rest, do it for 30 seconds, Woo, you're done, okay? So, 10 minute workout, two soccer balls, seven yards of space, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, doing each move twice. You do all that, you're gonna be tired, you're gonna be in better shape, you're gonna have fun, and you're gonna get better.